hello, sorry, you caught me uh, adding some fragrance to the room. Hello, uh, and it's what? It's Monday, and it's the 3rd of May, uh, 2021. It's a bank holiday, or public holiday, in the UK. Uh, all things are very exciting, and last night... Uh, on the BBC, it was the final episode of the latest series of Line of Duty. No spoilers here. All I will say is it's its usual very tense uh, production with superb performances from everyone. And uh, for the fans, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. So that's all you'll get from me there. And, of course, we're at the beginning of the month of May, and um, the Anglo-Saxons called May uh, Thrimils, or Trimils, uh, which meant uh, the month of three milkings, because um, the livestock would uh, be munching away on uh, fresh, fresh and bounteous grass and other vegetations uh, that they could be milked three times a day. So that's my little trivia for you. I've had um, many of you contacting me today again uh, from the UK because uh, for you outside our shores you may not be aware but there have been some quite dramatic events over here. Uh, so every, um, you may or may not have heard of the Grenville Tower um, fire that took place in I think it was uh, June 2017 now Well, uh, and uh, uh, 72 people died uh, and it turns out that the main cause was that the cladding on these buildings were, were quite flammable and in fact they were the incorrect cladding to be used. So there has been in theory a programme of replacing the cladding. Uh, but uh, now this week, uh, whilst uh, there was lots of rumblings about who paid for somebody's wallpaper, a law was passed that uh, some tenants are going to have to find the cost of replacing the cadding themselves uh, with the proviso that the government is going to provide all sorts of uh, uh, loan schemes. But, you know, a loan of 50 or £60,000 to these people who've got no money uh, because, uh, because of what's been going on is ludicrous. Uh, Personally, I think the government should have um, paid for whatever cladding needs uh, paying um, needs replacing uh, immediately. I mean, it's nearly four years, and there are people still living in properties which uh, are high risk of becoming a scene of fatalities. I think the government should pay for it if they want to get it back. They should get it back from the landlords and the people who built the properties in the first place. That's it. I can't say any more, otherwise I'll be accused of politics again. But um, there was another incident uh, this week. Uh, again, for you outside the shores, our post office, our beloved post office system, um, uh, a lot of postmasters and postmistresses were accused of stealing money, and it turns out that they didn't steal the money at all. It was due to a faulty computer system, and it's turned out that people knew that the system was faulty, uh, and uh, it's taken ten, 10 years and more uh, to get a conviction, convictions quashed. Meantime, people's lives have been uh, destroyed, uh, some have even gone to prison, uh, and so the, uh, the recompense on that is uh, immeasurable. But it, it turns out it's because people didn't want to uh, own up that they had done something wrong, i.e. bought a flawed system. And so what those two stories, the Grenfell cladding, and the uh, post office situation, to me, what it highlights is uh, a lot of people want to save face by literally lying. <laughs> and it, it makes me um, very angry, really, that uh, the little people, it doesn't matter what happens to them, uh, as long as I can get out of a situation which I caused in the first place. A lot of politicians, particularly I remember in Maggie Thatcher's time in the 80s, a lot of politicians got caught by not necessarily the deeds that they'd done, but because 
they tried to cover it up and they tried to blame other people. Uh, I mean, why they just don't own up, I don't know. Uh, uh, there are protocols set in place uh, for everyone in society, not just politicians. And uh, if you find you break the rules, you take the consequences. Or if there are mitigating uh, circumstances, then tell us. You know, it's it's all very, very nasty. It leaves a nasty taste in the mouth that some people will allow others to be destroyed uh, 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 through doing something that they had uh, had nothing to do with them at all. It is appalling. I'm quite angry about it, I must admit. But never mind, I mustn't witter on. Uh, on a lighter note, uh, I've been discovering things. Uh, in May, of course, the cherry blossom comes out, so there's lots of that as we drive around the countryside here. Uh, and the colours of the flowers are beautiful. Watching the birds getting along with their lives is fantastic. And I was doing some research for one or two things this, this week. And I discovered the bee hummingbird. I never knew it existed. It's about an inch long. About an inch, which is about the size of my thumb there. My thumbnail down to there. That's how long it is. <laughs> That's how it is. And apparently it um, flaps its wings 80 times a second. Absolutely fascinating. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful time until the next vlog. Until then, I'll just go...